Okay, this is Alan Stewart with B&B Yacht Designs, and we have Nat and Graham there up on the ladder. And what we're going to be doing today is demonstrating the unfolding of a Corsound 20 Mark III hull. These are the main pieces of the hull right here. And what we have here represents about maybe three days worth of work and three major steps in the build process. And so you can see the first step is actually joining these hull panels together. There's two joints per panel and there's two bottom panels and two side panels. And here you can see the finger joints glued together with epoxy and then sanded smooth. And there's the aft joint there. And the second step is attaching the stringers. So we have a pair of stringers along the side panels, there and there. And there's also a pair of stringers on the bottom panels. And those are attached with screws and the lines for these stringers are pre-drawn on the panels. Once the stringers are attached, the final step before we can unfold the hull is to join the side panel and the bottom panel at the bow where we have this dovetail joint cut into the plywood and there's a piece of fiberglass on the inside and the outside. And we have the port and starboard panels wired together down the keel line. Here's the tip of the bow. And these wires run down the keel line and they're just loosely loosely twisted so that the whole panel can unfold like a book. And we have these panels now sitting on the cradle and they're supported at the stern by a pair of 1x2s that are just clamped to the side panels and that gives a little bit of stability to the panels so you can maneuver them around. We've also got a piece of rope amidships that's just going to wrap around the hull and support it as we unfold. A couple more details to show you here. On the bow we've doubled up the wire just for a little extra security and also we've installed uh, what we call the safety block here. It's just a piece of plywood on the inside and the outside screwed together and it prevents any chance of cracks propagating through this fiberglass and the dovetail joint when the hull is unfolded. This gets removed once the chine is epoxied. We've also gone ahead and installed some loose wires about three to four feet aft of the bow just until it starts opening up too wide and that just makes it easier when the hull unfolds the bow is already sort of held together.
Well, let me just start wiring. Put some lead weights here on the bottom panel above the cradle supports and that helps to spread open the bottom panel. And we just starting at the bow, put a wire every couple of feet towards the stern. And we're using a line across the stern here to keep the side panels in from uh, trying to spread out. And then as we get work our way to the stern, the wire in the back corner holds the side panels in. Okay, up near the bow, where the wires uh, come together straight across, it's hard to pull the panel into shape here, so we can use a plywood pad and a screw. With a screw going into the lower panel, and that pulls the lower panel up flush with the higher panel. So that's just a trick for up near the bow. Here's the uh, fiberglass at the bow, just to get the chine to smooth out a little bit where the wires can't work. Once the angle of the chine increases towards the midships, the wires are able to pull the panels and the gear teeth completely meshed. Here you can see bulkhead number one being dry fitted and the hull panels at this stage are fairly stiff and so dry fitting the forward bulkhead helps to stretch the panels out and allowing the panels to just sit for about 24 hours helps the wood to um, stretch out and uh, assume its final shape.